bunker or if you see extension and I want to get you growing well this summer with porch or patio tomatoes and so we're gonna do four simple steps the first is the container we want to make sure that we have enough volume of growing mixture to support that plant well so the soil doesn't dry out too fast two to five gallons is often the volume of that container that we would recommend for a porch or a patio tomato and this is actually a good example of a four gallon plastic pot so we have a good volume of media here and the plastic will also reduce the amount of moisture that's lost through the sides of the pot for instance this terracotta pot while visually uh, appealing is only about two gallons and it will actually often lose water a little bit quicker than this plastic pot so you always want to keep in mind water loss and volume uh, one key element about this black plastic pot is that it will retain a lot of heat during the summer from sunlight so make sure that you don't put it in a place where it gets a lot of afternoon direct sunlight so we have our container the next thing we want to make sure that we make a good decision about is the growing mix we always want to use a new growing mix that is not field soil but is specially formulated for containers or for raised beds in fact this mixture has a combination of peat moss and compost pine bark that will have a very good balance of drainage but also water holding capacity and it starts off pathogen free so that we can do our best to keep our plants healthy we have our container we have our media and next we'll want to pick of course a good tomato cultivar we want to grow a determinate tomato in our container so it'll have a um, fixed height that won't um, get too big and many of these patio tomatoes this is actually patio choice yellow will not even require a cage it has such a compact growing structure others this is actually tidy treats here might require a cage to support the growth of the plant throughout the season so we want to be picky about getting good health and quality of our tomato plants a nice deep green color and a lack of any insects or disease we can see a healthy root system here and we are ready to plant of course we know that tomatoes can actually root on its stem so containers give us a good opportunity um, to bury this plant just a little bit deeper so it'll start off growing in a nice stocky healthy manner from that soil media just a little bit around the plant we want good root to media contact it's kind of a good um, balance in the center of the pot one plant will be plenty uh, to grow and produce well in this pot the next thing we're going to do is water it in with a little bit of water of course and starter fertilizer we want to make sure that we uniformly wet all of the media in this pot so the roots can explore and take up water and nutrients the final element is of course going to be management during the growing season we want to make sure that we check the water at least daily as the plant gets bigger we will probably need to water it most days and at least a weekly supply of a fruiting formula of a soluble fertilizer so that'll get you started best wishes for a great summer of tasty tomatoes right on your porch or patio